In this section, we're going to look at one of the most fundamental and important parts of GCSE Maths, which is fractions. We're going to start off looking at how to simplify a fraction. And before we do that, we need to know what the numerator and denominator are. So the numerator is always the number on the top and the denominator is the number on the bottom. So that's the first thing you need to remember. And to simplify a fraction, all you need to do is divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number and preferably as big a number as possible. So if you look at 24 and 36, hopefully you can see straight away that they can both be divided by six. So if we do that, if we divide 24 by six, you get four. And then if you divide 36 by six, you get six. So this first step, we have divided by six. We can still go further because four and six can both be divided by another number, which is two. So if you divide both of those by two, we then get four divided by two is two, and six divided by two is three. And we can't divide two or three by any further numbers. So that is that fraction now in its simplest form. Now we need to look at mixed numbers and how you convert fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. So a mixed number consists of an integer and a fraction. So your integer is this part and then your fraction is obviously this part. And you can convert a number like this, so say five and two thirds, into something that's called an improper fraction which is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is bigger than the bottom number. So for example, 17 thirds. So now we're gonna look at how you actually convert from, from a mixed number to an improper fraction. So here we've got write three and two fifths as an improper fraction. So three wholes equals three lots of five fifths because one, one whole, is equal to five fifths. So that means that three wholes must be equal to three of these, which is going to be 15 fifths. So we've dealt with the integer part, and now we just need to add on the fraction part that we already have, which is two fifths. So we do 15 fifths, plus two fifths and we end up with 17 fifths. Okay, so now we're going to look at how to write an improper fraction as a mixed number. So here we've got to write 12 fifths as a mixed number. So the first thing you want to do is 12 divided by five. And you want to write your answer with a remainder. So we know that two fives go into 12, because that makes 10. And then you have a remainder of two. So it's two remainder two. And then the way you write this answer as a mixed number is that you take this, this whole number, and that's going to be the integer part of your mixed number. And then you take your remainder and you write that as a fraction where your remainder is the numerator and your denominator is the same as the denominator that you started with in the question. So for us that was five because we had 12 fifths. So that becomes two fifths. And then you simply just write that next to your integer. And now you've got a mixed number. So we've converted 12 fifths into two and two fifths.